All right, thank you, Janae. And to go more in depth of, on the heat wave, here's meteorologist Rob Lindenmuth. So, Rob, tell us, how did this heat wave get made? What were the ingredients needed? Well, I can give you a little bit of information, Julio. It all started as high pressure began to build into the area. You can see that on the live HD radar right there. This is an unusually strong area of high pressure for this time of year and this part of the world. High pressure is an area of generally dry and nice weather as it promotes sinking in the atmosphere, which is why we haven't seen much in the way of cloud cover or showers over the last few days. So how unusual is it for us to see temperatures this warm? Well, I did do a little bit of research last night and it is quite unusual, especially to see the heat index values in the low 100s for multiple days in a row. Since records began in 1894, we have only hit 100 degrees 31 times in Elmira. Typically, we do see 90 degree days in the summer. The most we've seen ever was 45 days of 90 or better. That was in 1949. So far this year, including today, we've seen nine days at 90 or better. All right, thank you, Rob. And of course, the 18 Storm Team will be keeping you updated on this heat wave tonight and tomorrow.